Hello everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Susie. Welcome to my channel, Dragonfly Bees Resale Journey. Today's video is, we're still revisiting the color series that I had conducted in the past. So each video consists of a um, specific color of jewelry. We already did greens and blues. And now, Today's color is browns, caramels, honey, yummy. <laughs> so here's the group of um, jewelry that I'll be showing. Um, I'll use the numbering system. So let me push this all aside, grab a few to begin with, and um, I will be right back. The first piece is a infinity strand. It's glass beads, different shades of browns. You have honey color, amber tone color, chocolate color, different shapes. Uh, this will be number one. And let me show this close up. This has a 20 inch drop. So this strand is 40 inches long. As you can see, you have different shapes different sizes, different colors. Some even have like an opalescent sheen to them. Just a very warm, oh, very cozy. <laughs> the colors are very, um, it's just cozy. That's all I can think of uh, offhand. So this here, glass bead necklace, 40 inch length necklace with no clasp. This is number one. Item number two is this really neat bangle. It's a bit transparent. You could see through it. Beautiful deep amber tone. It is a has corners. Let's take a look at it. See if there's any marks. Okay, I do see one mark right there. A little scratch. Other than that, this is pretty nice. It is acrylic. Uh, it measures in at eight inches in circumference. This bangle will be number two. Next up, I have this brooch. This is a brass tone. You have these beautiful faceted. Oh, this is more like an amber tone. I believe it's glass. They do feel cold. You also have some um, rhinestones in the middle. This is mounted on a piece of wood, I believe, that someone had painted gold. This may have been an artisan piece. There you see the rollover clasp. On the back of it, it has someone's signature. I don't know, Cohen, Colin. Um, I just think it's nice. So we have this brooch and this will be, you guessed it, number three. The next piece is a seed bead necklace it has these faux pearls that are little tiny ovals. You have a pendant in silver tone with some, I guess it's a design made in resin and it also has some beads in there. I'll show that close up in a bit. There is a lobster claw and an extender. The drop on this particular necklace is seven inches and the extender measures in at two and a half inches long. So this will be number four. Let me show this now close up. Here you can see the really pretty brown seed beads. There's the hardware. There you see the faux pearls. They're like, um, like a champagne tone. Here is the pendant. And there's even a row of tiny little beads within. 
there's the back of it. It actually says KC. KC? Huh. This may very well be a Kenneth Cole. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if this necklace was married to this pendant, but nonetheless, this is number four. The next necklace is really fun. I do love the glass beads on here. Uh, the glass beads make up the necklace. You do have these two uh, that have the uh, coppery glitter, so it looks like a um, gold stone. You have silver tone end caps here in a filigree design. And you have all these multiple strands of different uh, types of stones of glass. That's what I meant to say. So you have almond shape, you have round, you have different colors, you have seed beads, you have these tiny ones. So let me um, tell you the measurement of this. This here has a 10 inch drop. So that makes this a 20 inch necklace. You do have an extender right here, which is three inches long. So let's bring this up close. Here you can see the really sweet honey colored glass beads. And these are the glittery ones I said before that remind me of Goldstone. Um, excuse the noise outside my window. It's the siren going by. Um, and here are the multiple strands. So this here, really nice, fun necklace. It feels really soft and nice on your on your neck, I'm sure. This will be number five. This next one, I like a lot. You have these brown beads. Some are longer than the others. Uh, six strands. There's metal bead spaces in between. There's these chains on top, decorative bars, a lobster claw, and extender. It kind of gives me, um, I don't know, maybe a Native American vibe. It is um, really clean, but I, I did notice there is a, a slight flaw. Whoever had this necklace um, should never hang these type of necklaces up because they do uh, tend to stretch. And this here, I will show you where I, I saw that happening. Okay, so this here, let's see, has a nine inch drop, making it a 18 inch necklace up to the shortest strand. The extender is three inches long. I love the color of these beads and they are acrylic therefore this necklace is very comfortable to wear there you see all the beads and if you look close okay how can i show you Okay, the reflection, which is really bad because it's showing green. <laughs> there is no green on this necklace. Okay, that is a reflection. But what I wanted to show was there. You see the string on these two strands? It's exposed right there. So that that's what the flaw is. And on this side the same two strands see that white string and that green is not on the necklace that is a reflection so please don't um don't think that's part of the necklace here you see the decorative bars that i mentioned such a pretty fun necklace so here this one will be number six this next piece, oh, look at those beautiful glass beads. This entire strand is hand knotted. 
it has the beautiful mother of pearl chips, I guess you would call them. Oh, it is really long. There's no clasp. It is an infinity strand. The drop on this is 27 and a half inches. So this entire strand is 55 inches long in total. This here will be number seven. Here, you can take a look again at the components. Love this one. Really pretty. So, number seven. This next one is four strands, seed beads, all these beautiful green and brown beads. I mean, even this strand emulates amber chips, but it is not amber. You also have these round ones that have the uh, band going across them in the middle. This here has a lobster claw and uh, very ornate bead caps. When I measured it, like so, with the lobster claw on the last loop, this drop came in at eight and a half inches. So that makes this necklace as is 17 inches long. Really pretty components. Great color combination. So this here will be number eight. Number nine, this is a gold tone necklace with all these dangling tassels. At the end of each one of these, they have their little gold, it almost looks like a pill. <laughs> you have all these faceted beads uh, that make up each tassel. Um, there is an extender. There's even a little heart at the end of the extender and it's hammered. So I don't know if that denotes a brand or not. Uh, there's also a little crystal uh, bead at the end. It has a, a larger lobster claw clasp. I don't see any name on this. Uh, measuring this, it came out to, oh, let's see, 15 inches in total. And the extender is three inches long. This one here is number nine. So let me lift it up now to show you. Oh, this bling. Really fun. Oh. I forgot to mention that all those little pills on the bottom, I was looking at the back of them. The front of them have clear rhinestones. Now, how fun is that? And um, where is that? Yeah, there's that puffy uh, solid heart-shaped charm at the end. And um, it's hammered along with that little bead. Really sweet necklace. Really fun. And yeah, there's clear rhinestones on these bottom charms. Now, I did not check to see if everyone is there. I guess I could do that really quick right now. And they look to be fully intact. I believe so. Yeah. What a mess I made. So this is number nine. Next up, we have this very long necklace. It has some stones in here, as well as seed beads. On the top portion, you have the clear ones. Then you have these beads, along with some little brown bead spacers. You have these, I believe that's some type of quartz. And then look at these ovals. What do you think? Picture Jasper, perhaps? Some more clear quartz moving down. Just a really nice combination of colors. Very, very soothing. You have a lobster claw clasp and an extender. 
If you look at these jump rings on the end, they do look like they're, they do have some wear. Um, the drop on this particular necklace is 14 inches. So it's a 28 inch necklace and the extender is two inches long. And there's a nice little bead that finishes off that extender. This one here will be number 10. Okay, next up, I have a set, but you know, I can price them individually. These are glass. And look at the size of these. They're pretty uh, substantial. Um, the bracelet has tiger eye beads in between. It also has them at the end. And both of these items have a clasp that says 14 karat 1 20th gold filled. This bracelet is six and a half inches. When I connected it, I placed it on the mandrel and measured it that way. They are like a brown tone, chocolatey brown, but you can't see through them. So we have that. And then let me show you the necklace. The necklace is also the same size bead. It's holding a pendant. This is glass as well. And it's being held up by seed beads uh, looped around it. So when I looked at the pendant, I said, oh, is it sideways or is it that way? I wasn't sure, but I think it looks okay that way. So this is also the same. It has the tiger eye beads in between. And here's that clasp. I guess I could try to show you where it says 14 karat gold filled. It's right at that clasp right there, the that bottom plate portion and on the other side. The necklace has a drop of eight inches. And um, so that means it's 16 inches altogether without the pendant, nice and cold. So we have this and this will be number 11. And um, I will price it as a set and also individually. Next up, I have a, another Infinity Strand necklace. This is quite heavy. It is entirely glass. There is opaque black glossy ones in different shapes. And then you have these like torpedo shaped clear glass beads and inside is brown with copper glitter throughout. There's also um, bicone beads that act as spacers in between. This one here is really long. It is 50 inches in total, 25 inch drop. Here you can see the beads more closer. I guess I could show you this way. We can go through the line. There is a, you see that string? It's on a string. I mean, these are such pretty beads. Even if you don't wear this, these can be repurposed. But look at this one. This is black with the uh, copper, the glittery copper inside on top. Continues on. There's the train. Yeah. So this one here, really long, very unique beautiful glass bead necklace and this is number 12 this next one very unique I believe it's vintage um, 
yeah someone had purchased this but they never paid so i'm bringing it back the um lobster claw clasp is sterling silver there you see it's marked 925 it does have these beautiful beads i'm thinking i'm guessing that they're red jasper maybe but look at these clear saucer beads crazy clear with the black swirls and there you have the round beads along with these really nice smooth polished cylinders very unique it's in good condition i don't see any um i don't see any chips or cracks super unique necklace this here oh i can't even fit it in the frame this here has a um let's see i wrote it down a seven and a half inch drop so this is only a 15 inch necklace but as you can see you can always uh, add an extender to that has that elongated lobster claw this one here will be number 13. This next one, pretty. Look at these glass beads. They are faceted. They have some AB coating on them. You have tinier ones. You have these, um, they're like faux pearls in like a champagne tone. Gold tone necklace. It does have a lobster claw at the end. This one here measures in at uh, 30 inches total, making it, um, so it has a 15 inch drop. Bring you in close. It has seed bead spacers. Super sweet. This one here will be number 14. The next one is so pretty. Double strand, clear and light brown beads, faceted. You have these little bicone beads uh, along with the links that are used as bead spacers. You have these beads with the gold foil inside just a fun necklace this one here has a drop of 10 inches so this is a 20 inch necklace there you can see all the beads closer some of them have a, a very light aurora borealis coating on them so we have this, and this will be number 15. Now, when I do these color uh, series videos, I've been choosing 20 items, even though um, when I start off the show, I have a whole pile of them. Normally, I just pick out 20, which is about the right time um, length for the video as well. So we're up to number 15, so five more pieces to go. Next up, beautiful brown glass faceted beads, uh, infinity strand. Yeah, this one here, as you can see, has tiny little pairs of seed beads that separate each stone. Then you have these like donuts of uh, perhaps Jasper, I'm, I'm guessing such a nice necklace this one here did i say there was no clasp yeah there isn't uh this one measures in at 28 inches long it has a 14 inch drop here you can see the beads very pretty this one here is number 16. 
Next up, I have this ring. It is a size eight. As you can see, it's marked 925 on the back of it. It is a split, split shank design right there. It is an amber cab. So let me um, grab the UV light and see if we can show you the glow. So here we have it, size eight. Let me take that off the mandrel and show you that it is open back. And um, yeah, it looks to be in nice condition. Sterling silver, size eight, amber cabochon ring. And this will be number, number 17. Next up, I have this gorgeous toggle bracelet. Uh, this is by Ann Taylor. There you can see her oval jewelry tag with the name Ann Taylor in uppercase. Um, this is embellished with rhinestones. You can see it's on the bar. It's in every one of these connecting links as well as around the toggle ring. This here is like a honey mustard brown. And they're acrylic. There's the back side of it. Quite a high setting. All open back. Really sweet toggle bracelet. Um, when I connected it and placed it on the mandrel, because of the thickness of the bracelet, this measurement came out to be only six and a half inches. So you have to have quite a small wrist in order to wear this. Uh, this here is going to be number 18, the Ann Taylor toggle bracelet. Talking about a small wrist, um, this one's even smaller. This here is a faux to tortoiseshell open cuff in beautiful condition. Uh, there is one flaw, and I'll point that out to you in a moment. As you can see, there's all these multicolor prong set rhinestones that make up this uh, design of flowers. That's what it looks like on the inside. It is very clean, but unfortunately, right there where that space is, that was where the cartouche was. This is actually a J. Crew, but you can't even tell because that cartouche fell out. Uh, but if you Google it, you'll see that this is truly a J. Crew open cuff, and it is very small. Right now, measuring it around, it's only six inches. Um, because this is acrylic, I'm sure if you were to warm this up, you can possibly open it up a bit. Just a beautiful bracelet. And I'm hoping someone has a small wrist that can fit into this because I sure can't. Um, so we have this one, <sighs> number 19. Okay, one more to go. The last piece I want to show uh, today is this gorgeous necklace. It is by Erickson Beeman. And if you don't know, um, it's a New York designer. Um, I am a native New Yorker. I am very fond of um, researching New York jewelry designers and brands that basically got their start here. Um, Erickson Beeman is, um, was founded by Karen and Eric Erickson and their friend, Vicki Beeman. So that's why you see Erickson Beeman as their um, name. 
Uh, they started the company back in 83, which is, wow, 40 years ago. And in 85, they they were doing so well, they even expanded to the European markets. Um, Karen was basically a clothing designer at first. And I guess she claimed that she couldn't find any accessories to uh, uh, accompany her designs on the runway. So she and her friend uh, Vicky uh, got together and opened up Erickson Beeman. And their jewelry is handmade in Manhattan in a New York City uh, workshop. And their jewelry has a lifetime guarantee. Many celebrities uh, wear their pieces, such as um, Angelina Jolie, uh, Lady Gaga, and, um, oh, Sarah Jessica Parker, who happens to live in the West Village with her husband and family. Um, Erickson Beeman also collaborated with other um, well-known fashion houses, such as Dior and Donna Karen, as well as uh, Alexander McQueen. So I have this um, necklace and it is amber tone with beautiful green faceted beads. And then you even have these clusters. I love these parts. Moving down, you have more of these beads. They, they kind of um, have like a, a, a dimple in them. And it continues on. This here is actually um, acrylic, but it is so well made. It has a, I would say, hmm, that's a darkened uh, silver tone lobster clasp. This necklace measures in at 34 inches long. It has a 17 inch drop. If you uh, Google their name, you will see that a lot of their pieces go for a lot of money, um, hundreds. So we have this piece, and this will be the last piece in this brown jewelry uh, showcase. This will be number 20. So I really hope you enjoyed the color series so far. This is, I believe, uh, part three. Uh, let's see, maybe part four will be pinks and purples and reds. I have to see what I have uh, in my in my uh, inventory. What colors would you like to see? Um, there's also black and gunmetal and silver. Of course, of course, gold tone. Um, so let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you had a favorite piece in this uh, brown jewelry category. Um, if you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if there's anything you may uh, want to purchase, all you need to do is email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. Just indicate the number of the item, um, the date of the video, and uh, we'll take it from there. I use uh, PayPal for invoicing. I use Pirate Ship for shipping. I use calculated shipping. So whatever it costs me to ship to you, um, that's what you will be charged. So any questions, just email me and uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free to subscribe and uh, ring that bell. That way you'll be notified when I post more content. And who knows, once in a blue moon, you may um, be surprised and catch me uh, live, which is rare, but you never know. So thank you everyone for watching today. I appreciate you all. I will see you soon, okay? So for now, I'm gonna say bye.